Hello, it's Carrie Connick from BrandscapeAtelier.com and here I am uh, meeting with you yet again to talk about the next layer from brand identity, the next layer being brand expression, and the third layer being the brand experience. Okay, So this week we're going to talk about after you're crystal clear about your core four, about your identity and why you serve, what you're meant to do in the world as an entrepreneur in your business as a brand then it's time to set out and build the assets build the expression layers and today I'd like to talk about uh, the expression layer of the naming system so what is a naming system um, very often in the beginning aspects the beginning phases or evolutions of your business you're going to rebrand you're going to first start out potentially with the name of the company being your name. And I can tell you in the journey that has been my entrepreneurship, my brand had several names. When I first started in New York, the business at the time was called Satellite Design Technology. And then as we grew, evolved, shifted, shed some services, shed some team members and, and business partners, um, it became Kerry Connick and Company. I finally put my name on the door because I knew that uh, after a lot of pain that it was really about my message. And then the second naming of, for my business, I, I was doing the dot-com piece and, and working with um, online business and weaving well, websites of transformation. So that business was called Spider Girl. And I have several, several friends that still call me Spider Girl. Hey, Spider Girl! And people will say, who are they talking to? I'm like, oh, that's me. That's one of my one of my names. Um, so Spider Girl was a superhero who worked on on weaving webs of transformation. And again, I went into sort of that uh, evolution of of my 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 brand and my work in the world. And I'm at the point now where my work is my life's work. And so the name of this business, this incarnation of who I really am is Brandscape Atelier. Um, but what I'd like to talk about is the naming system. There's three pieces that you should develop. Okay? And when you get clearer and clearer about what it is you do, you should change your name. Um, but you want to be doing this early on and seeing your business as a prototype and learn the lessons, get clear, get clear, get clear and make the changes early so you can have a bigger impact in a shorter period of time. If you do the branding work, that's possible. So you don't waste a lot of time um, searching in the dark for what it is that, that you are really meant to do, for whom and why. Um, so the naming three, the first piece is the name of the entity, the name of the corporation, whether you're an LP, LLC, Inc., a K-1, an S Corp, a C Corp, I've been all those things. Fun, fun. Um, but the first name, the name is the entity. And you want to keep that in concept only. Okay? So it's a concept, you know? So Brandscape Atelier is the landscaping of the brand. And for me, Atelier is the French word for workshop, artist workshop. And it's a very personal word for me. I, I worked in French luxury brands for, for many, many years. Uh, and they're dear to my heart, some of these brands. Uh, but it reminds me to, that it's always a work in progress. Not only my own business, my own brand, but yours. The brands I work with, to remember to roll up our sleeves and, and get in there and, and continue to evolve. So Atelier re reminds me that it's a workshop. It's a work in progress. It's a, it's a process. It's a life's journey. Okay, the second part is the descriptor. Now the descriptor is more tangible, it's more specific, it's more of a phrase that's going to tell your audience exactly what you do. So it will land the concept into reality. Okay, so if I say Brandscape Atelier, and then I can say the descriptor might be, we lead, empower, and ignite entrepreneurs who dare to dream to build amazing, powerful businesses. My description is a little different than that, but you get the point. Okay? And then someone says, oh, okay, you're a branding agency, and you work with entrepreneurs, with movement businesses, movement brands. Oh, great, so that their passion can, can make an exponential impact in the world. Got it. 
Okay? So a lot of that can happen in your mission statement. But the descriptor should be able to say, ah, I coach women who want to do. Okay? So that's the other thing to know is don't your descriptor is going to evolve as your services evolve. So don't hang your hat on your descriptor. Don't print it in your logo. Don't print it. You can use it on your Facebook page because you're going to change those graphics. But um, that's not part of your visual system. We'll talk about that in our next concept. Okay. So the third piece of your naming system, which we call the naming three, is the, um, the tagline. Now the tagline is where you sell what I call the kiss, the promise of the experience of working with you. Okay? So my tagline is brands that inspire. Brands that inspire hope, courage, love, passion, health, wellness, uh, security, whatever your brand is to inspire. So we have a, a unique brilliance around inspiring entrepreneurs so that they inspire their target audience. Okay? So my tagline is brands that inspire. So wouldn't you want, as, as an entrepreneur, don't you want to inspire your people to take action, the kind of action that they should take? Come to your workshop, purchase your products, purchase your, your consulting, your services, buy your book. So that's um, uh, what you are hoping to inspire with your message, with your unique um, brand. Okay? So the naming system, that's in the, in the corporate or the, the entity naming system, what we call the naming three. The other naming system that you should take a look at is the service and product naming suite. So with your products, you're looking at getting a concept or a theme that threads throughout everything that you do. Now, if you did your Inspire Fire or your identity work, you'll know those themes. You'll have those messaging metaphors that we've developed in that. Or if you've worked on resonance roadmaps, you'll know those themes. And then you should name your products so that they carry the essence and they feel like a family. For example, my core module, my signature piece on identity is called Inspire Fire. Inspire Fire became Inspire Campfire, a, a, a small intensive of a handful of, of brands that come together to do the Inspire Fire work together. The larger event is Inspire Bonfire. Okay, so see how the fire metaphor, Inspire Matchstick, Inspire Fire, Inspire Campfire, Inspire Bonfire. So that is how you should look at your services and products. You will stretch, you will grow, you will evolve, and you can set up themes or metaphor packages. And we've done that for many, many clients, and, and that's a lot of fun. And, and again, um, they're not as permanent as your corporate naming system. All right, so your assignment this week is to go ahead and look at your brand name and look at your naming three, and then also look at your products and your services. And do they need to be branded? Do they need to be put into families uh, of themes that make sense to your target audience always? Okay, have a fantastic week. I look forward to seeing you uh, next week where we take on yet another killer concept. Have a great day. Take care.